Alright guys, so basically I have this crazy news to share with you about ChatGPT plugins. So let's get right into it. Plugins are absolutely going to change the way we work, communicate and learn across the globe. So unfortunately I'm not yet whitelisted, but we can directly dive into the demo that has been provided by OpenAI. These demos are absolutely crazy. So right at the homepage of OpenAI, when we scroll down, we will find ChatGPT plugins which is one of the latest updates. So watch 23, ChatGPT plugins. So basically what they're saying is, we have implemented initial support for plugins in ChatGPT. Plugins are tools designed specifically for language models with safety as a core principle and help ChatGPT access up-to-date information, run computations or use third-party services. So I have already joined the waitlist, so make sure that you also do the same. Oh, and by the way, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. So let's explore what ChatGPT plugins has to offer. So the first thing that we see is that there is a bunch of plugins which has already been implemented into ChatGPT. So we have Expedia, Fiscal Note, Instacart, uh, OpenTable, Milo, Family AI, Wolfram. So a nice list to get started. So this new functionality of ChatGPT plugins will be made available to its uh, ChatGPT Plus users, as well as people that join the waitlist. And when you do this, you basically need to tell them why you want to get access to the waitlist and for what kind of use case you're going to be using the ChatGPT plugins the most. All right, so let's open up this video and let's see what ChatGPT plugins can do. So basically in this video, they selected the different kind of plugins, enabled them, and they are basically sending ChatGPT a message. I'm looking to eat vegan food in San Francisco this weekend. Could you get me one great restaurant suggestion for Saturday and a simple recipe for Sunday, just the ingredients. Please calculate the calories for the recipe using Wolfram Alpha. Finally, order the ingredients on Instacart. So what you can see is that they applied three different kind of plugins. And by applying these plugins, this one prompt can provide a lot of new information. So let's see what ChatGPT will come up with. It found a great vegan restaurant in San Francisco to try. And for Sunday, like the prompt mentioned, it also comes up with a simple vegan recipe uh, with the ingredients. So the ingredients are just basically listed over there. And then one more thing, is going to use Wolfram Alpha in order to calculate the amount of calories that the recipe contains. Absolutely crazy, right? So it straight up comes with the amount of calories that that recipe contains together with a breakdown. It directly makes up a shopping list for the chickpea salad, which can be opened in the Instacart app. Then the next thing is browsing. Basically lets you ask any question to ChatGPT and it will provide you with the information right off the internet and it will tell you where it found it as well. So let's check this demo. So it's going to ask the prompt, how do this year's Oscar winners compare to recently released movies for box office sales? All right, so let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. So as you can see, it's going to browse the web and shows you everything that it has performed in order to find the information for you. So when you ask ChatGPT a question, it always magically comes up with the answer somehow, but now you can tell where it found the information. So what we see right on the screen is that it searched for 2023 Oscar winners, box office sales compared to recently released movies. And then it tells you where it clicked. It tells you that it's going to read the content. And then it tells you that it's searched for recently released movies, box office sales. It also clicks on that article, starts to read the content, and then the real power of ChatGPT comes into play. It is going to compare the information. And then it comes up with the answer, which is basically that the 2023 Oscar winner for best picture, everything, everywhere, all at once, earned $100 million at the box office. The model that they're using for this is called browsing. 
and it's also in the alpha mode. So what you can see is on the website, it also just mentions uh, different kinds of use cases that you can ask ChatGPT. Then the next thing is code interpreter. Let's have a look. It is asking to plot the function one divided by the sinus of X. A lot of boring math later. Right away, it comes up with this amazing graph right into ChatGPT. All right, so right away when I see this, I'm getting PTSD flashbacks of high school when I had to use this graphical calculator in order to find this kind of stuff out. But it's really great to see that ChatGPT can basically help me with this kind of stuff in the future if I need it again. So it tells it to zoom in to the point of tangency and it will find out where that is and do it for you. Kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, it even explains exactly how it zoomed in, where the dashed line is, what the x-axis had to be set to. The next crazy thing that I want to show you is that the code interpreter also allows you to upload documents and that you can ask JetGPT about this document. So in this video, it is uploading the music.csv and it's going to ask uh, several questions about it. Like, what are the columns in this data set? JetGPT is just listing it on the screen right now. Another question, how many rows does it have? ChatGPT directly answers 10,000 data rows. This next thing is actually where it gets really interesting when you want to make some kind of visualizations on data. So no need to ask that colleague again that you have already asked so many times to help you with data visualization. Just ask ChatGPT and ChatGPT will not complain. Histogram, scatter plot and bar chart. Of course, if you want to see additional charts, you can just ask it. And now if you want it to do some kind of analysis, you can basically just ask ChatGPT to do it for you. In this video, they are asking, now let's do the following analysis. Let's exclude year zero. Let's consider only years with over 100 songs. And it also mentions, okay, from that set of years, let's find the quantity that is most positively correlated with time. There you have it. It directly comes back with an answer. ChatGPT can also answer questions about the data visualizations that it... I think that data analysts are going to have a tough time if they don't know about this. This is getting quite scary, if you ask me. All right, in this next model called Retrieval, which is actually quite interesting for a lot of organizations out there, OpenAI has released a open source version that you can self-host in order to ask questions about your own organizational document. What they mention on the website is it allows users to obtain most relevant document snippets from their data sources, such as files, notes, emails, or public documentation. One of the main complications of the current version of ChatGPT is that it's not really usable for organization because the information that you send to ChatGPT is basically leaving the organization when you press enter. But if you use this self-hosted version, then the information stays within your organization. In this example, they have a document about human rights uh, in the organization and they are asking questions about what human rights were introduced last year. So in 2022, one of the human rights that was introduced and emphasized was the human right to a clean, healthy and sustainable environment. So basically this kind of information, JGPT is just taking from the organizational document and showing it. This is going to be so useful for, for example, training or knowledge development within a company. No need to ask your colleague again or to go to a different kind of department to get some information that you need. Basically ask ChatGPT and it will provide you with the information that you need. Instead of 50 documents that you are sent to by your colleague, the information is in there somewhere. ChatGPT is going to be your most valued colleague, I guess. All right, so there you have it, guys. This is ChatGPT plugins coming to ChatGPT very soon. I couldn't wait until I was whitelisted to provide you this information. So definitely check out openai.com and make sure that you're going to join the waitlist. All right, guys, so thank you for watching and make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in the next one.